In this video, we're gonna see what would happen if Derrick Rose never got injured in game one of the 2012 NBA playoffs. How many MVPs would he have won? How many championships would he have won? Would he go down as a top five point guard in NBA history? All that and more in this video right here. And be sure to stick around because we hit a crazy game winner in one of the games that we play. So if you're excited, leave a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on that bell if you're new here. Enjoy! Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to watch something special. This is going to be a career sim and a my career combined. We are going to be finding out what if, one of the biggest what ifs in NBA history, what if Derrick Rose never got injured and tore his ACL in the 2012 NBA playoffs. How many MVPs would he have won? How many championships would he have won? These are only questions we could ask ourselves, but in this video right here, we're gonna find out the answer. So let me quickly and briefly explain what's going on. We're gonna be simming Derrick Rose's career, but we're also gonna be playing one game a season. And we're not gonna let the potential upgrade him, we're gonna upgrade him ourselves. How you ask? Using a program called Synergy 2K. If you don't know what Synergy 2K is, let me quickly explain. How it works is, you enter the stats that you accumulated for a game and depending on your performance in that game, you get experience points and with those experience points, you can upgrade whatever you want from attributes to badges and there are no restrictions. You are literally free to upgrade whatever you want. So after a game that we physically play, not simulate, we'll do that and get experience points and upgrade him. And we're going to set the season multiplier to 1, which will give us more experience points than usual since we only play one game a season. It could also be multiple though, depending on the playoffs. So that's pretty much it. Remember, if you are new here, to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell so you get notified on future videos. If you look at the graphic on your screen right now, there is a large chunk of you watching this that are not subscribed. So if you could change that, that would be greatly appreciated. You can always change your mind later. And I do just quickly want to say if you end up enjoying the video, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. I took a lot of time to set this up and this video took a lot of time to make. But let's get into it right now. We are currently in the 2011-2012 NBA season, the season after Derrick Rose became the youngest MVP ever. Quick look at the Bulls roster, D. Rose starting at a 90 overall, I've lowered him down a little bit so we can see the upgrade program in action. We got Boozer on the team, Joakim Noah, Luol Deng, Jimmy Butler who progressed well in his rookie campaign too. Corver, CJ Watson, looks like Taj Gibson is a little hurt right now. And we even got the GOAT, Brian Scalabrini on the squad. And we're actually currently in the 2011-2012 playoffs right now. Derrick Rose got injured in the very first game of the playoffs. And to make it even worse, he got injured at the end of the game when he didn't even need to be in the game. And the playoff matchups aren't realistic right now, but it's not that big of a deal. Because in real life, they were facing the Sixers in the first round. In here, they're facing the, the Knicks. I just want to quickly say, you can watch this video at your own pace. You know, you can watch like 30 minutes of it now, continue it later. You can watch it all in one session. That's, it's all up to you. You can come back to it, bro. But we are about to begin. Here we go. We're going to simulate game one right now. Boom. Bulls take game one. And guess what? Derrick Rose isn't injured. So we're going to carefully pick and choose which game to play. If we make it far, I'm going to play the big games. If there's a game seven, I'm going to play it. All right, so we're gonna, just going to simulate game by game for right now. The Knicks actually take game two. They take game three. We tie it up two to two. Simulate again. Three to two. Simulate again. And we beat the Knicks in six. A healthy Derrick Rose looking scary, especially in the playoffs, and we are facing against the fifth seeded Hawks now. I forgot to show you guys the Knicks roster, but they had Melo, Stoudemire, Billups. That's about it, but we took him down. I also quickly forgot to show you Derrick Rose's base attributes that he's going to start with in this series. Here we go, a little quick scroll through it. And now his badges. You know, he has some Hall of Fames. This man was literally godly. Some shooting badges, 14 playmaking, there you go, and no defensive rebounding one. And now we're facing the Hawks, who Joe Johnson injured, broken right toe, but he's day-to-day, -day. okay. They got Al Horford, 
Josh Smith, Jamal Crawford, Kirk Heinrich, Jeff Teague, Marvin Williams, Zaza. Solid Hawks team right here. And around the league, LeBron, D. Wade, Chris Bosh, and the Heat get first rounded by the Celtics. The one-seeded Lakers lose. Here we go, simulate game by game against the Hawks. We take game one. We take game two. We take game three. Oh, are they going to make a comeback? No, we beat them in five. And we're facing the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. And in real life, the Bulls actually got first rounded. They lost in six. And in real life, the Celtics actually made the Conference Finals too. As for the West, the Thunder in the Conference Finals, like in real life. But the Blazers didn't even make the playoffs, and they're in the Conference Finals. The Celtics, Rondo, Pierce, Garnett, Ray Allen, Jeff Green, Shaq, Glenn Davis, Avery, yeah, this is a good Celtics team, bro. Well, let's take it game by game as we take game one. They take game two. We take game three. We take game four. And the Bulls, with a healthy Derrick Rose, are now in the NBA Finals. And the Bulls face the Thunder in the Finals in real life. Of course, 2012, the Thunder made it. Bulls replacing the Heat. They didn't even have to go through the Heat this time. And now D-Rose and the Bulls have to go through KD, Westbrook, Harden, Ibaka, and this nice Thunder team to win D-Rose at NBA Championship. And you know what? I'm actually going to play Game 1, bro. And we're going to see the upgrade program in use because Derrick Rose needs to be upgraded for this final series, bro. Here we go. NBA Finals Game 1. Let's see how Derrick does his NBA Finals debut. And by the way, every game we do play will be on Hall of Fame. Luol Deng spotting up in the corner. Can he get D-Rose in the assist? Green light from Luol Deng. Westbrook with the ball. Tough shot for Westbrook. Don't tell me he's going to hit that. Westbrook hits that. Send me the screen, Joakim. Good screen, Joakim. Good roll, Joakim. Catch that alley-oop for me, Joakim. Okay, light finish at the rim, but that's two assists. I see Dane again. Bullet pass to Deng. Early release that time. Look at D-Rose on offensive glass. Hey, you got KD jumping and the cleanup for D-Rose. Good rotation. Good contest and good rotations by the Bulls. This Bulls defense was nice. One more to Jimmy. No, never mind. KD and his long arms got that one. And now KD has a mid-range that he hits. Harden. Good contest by D-Rose. And now we're taking it at KD. Hey, strong take at KD in the finish. And the good thing about the upgrade program is we could upgrade what D. Rose lacked. Like, you know, great defense. We could make him a great defender. We could make him a great outside shooter, too. Yep, Joakim. Joakim not going to allow that to go in. Cross. Jimmy, keep going. Jimmy Butler, another alley-oop finish. Westbrook, they got three seconds. Good double. Good double team, Jimmy. And now Boozer, find D-Rose. Can we get a dunk out of D-Rose? No, but a nice layup. Dude, we got to get... Just wait till that poster dunk, bro. All right, D-Rose subs out. We're up 18-9 to nine early. And we still have a nine-point lead beginning of the second quarter. All right, let's go, bro. Cross Harden. Spin. D-Rose, the slam! That's the D-Rose we know. What a move. Right past Harden. Containing Derrick Rose is never easy. You're not lobbing it to Nate Robinson, bro. D-Rose on the fast break. D-Rose. Stop. Pop. Mid-range. D-Rose greens it. All right, let's run this play. Oh, down screens for Luol Dang. Luol Dang actually open from deep. Oh, Luol Dang misses. We got board. Boozer gets fouled. That looked like a clean block. D-Rose, inbound steal. Let's go, D-Rose. Oh, wait. Nate Robinson on an island. Hey, strong take at Nate Robinson. And one. Send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Good screen, Joakim. D-Rose, down the lane. Reverse poster on Westbrook. Okay. With great lift. Breaks out a jump. He's probably in Chicago. They've gone six of 11. Oh, yeah, Jimmy. Dotted. Jimmy. D-Rose, another offensive board. Can we go up on Harden? Yes, we do. Inside, dude, that's two offensive boards for 
the man D Rose already. Joe Keem the screen. Don't leave Luol Deng. Good screen. <laughs> the pocket. Let's go. Dang, another assist. Intercepted. D Rose. He's going to take it all the way. Cross. Spin. Jimmy Butler outside. What a dot by D Rose. Late release. Joe Keem is going to clean it up. Good play, D Rose. That's all you, bro. What an interception by D Rose. Westbrook keeping up with us. Not quick enough. Two of the fastest players in the league in the foot race right there. And the slam by D Rose. All right, so we take care of business in game one. The second half was pretty uneventful. And D Rose, first ever finals game results in a W. D Rose, first ever finals game, finals debut, 35, six boards, seven assists, even five steals, pretty efficient shooting. Meanwhile, Joe Keem doing his thing, 18 and 29 rebounds with three steals and three blocks. Westbrook with 20. We held the big three down, bro. That's how we got this dub. And now it's time to use the upgrade program to upgrade D Rose. All right, so here we are in the program. What we do is we press play next game and we enter the stats that we got for that game five steals we had no blocks and we could put we were victorious because we won that game so we're gonna press submit we're gonna get 36k for that so we're gonna do both attributes and badges here are his attributes right here first of all 75 three-pointer make him a little bit more of a threat from outside given an 80 his defense i want to be at least an 80 his perimeter defense and his IQ, give him a 75 steal. And now his badges, bro. Next gen, badges are probably the most important thing. And there's a lot of badges in this game. And one thing that he doesn't have, he only has a gold posterizer. And we meet the requirements to make it into a Hall of Fame. So boom, Hall of Fame posterizer. And he has zero defensive and rebounding badges. So let's give him at least clamps, bro. Make it at least a silver clamps. Let's give him interceptor. It's another good one. Pickpocket. And make his ankle breaker into a hall of fame and give him another shooting badge to help him out hot zone hunter that's a good one make it a silver silver catch and shoot and you know what that's about it for this one man some decent upgrading for derrick rose after the first game so we played out d rose's finals debut bro this was the year that he got injured and in this scenario he didn't he did not get injured led the bulls to the finals let's simulate the next game the bulls take it Simulate the next game. Oh, the Thunder take it. Simulate the next game. 3-1 lead for the Bulls. We're up 3-1. I'm going to sim cast it, bro. I want to be in the game for this trophy celebration of D-Rose holding it up. Tell me I didn't jinx it, though. Yes, we close it out. Jump in. 10-point lead. 18 seconds away from D-Rose's first NBA championship. Okay, Westbrook, chill out, bro. It's over. I appreciate the heart you have, but this game is over. They better not start fouling, bro. They better not start fouling, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, 2012, D Rose would have won a ring if he did not tear his ACL. My man, D Rose. solidarity all year Grant. you know ba when guys want to play for one another the sum becomes greater than its parts this club really bonded together in the face of adversity time and time again standing tall as one oh it's been a beautiful thing luol dang is holding up the trophy derrick rose finals mvp be well What a scene here in Chicago, 23 for D. Rose, 9 of 10 from the field. Westbrook and KD wasn't enough. Where's James Harden? 5 points in this crucial game. And that's already one ring for D. Rose with a finals MVP in the one year, bro. 
And we still got plenty of years to go, bro. I don't know how much I'm going to do, but... Retirement. Shaq retires. Grant Hill. Ray Allen retires. Pretty early for Ray Allen, bro. 2012 NBA Draft. Let's see who the Nets. The New Jersey Nets have the number one pick. And they get Anthony Davis. The New Jersey Nets select Anthony Davis. Pistons with the number two overall pick select Harrison Parnes. Wow, that's a reach. I think that's a reach, bro. Who else was in there? This was Andre Drummond too, right? Oh, there he goes. Andre Drummond third overall to the Rockets. We're going to stick around for the top five. Who else was in this draft class? Phoenix Suns, number four, Michael. Oh, boy. At least the Bobcats didn't get him. Let's see if the Bobcats could redeem themselves, bro. Actually pick up someone decent, Jay Crowder. I guess that's better than MKG. Ooh, the Canes pick up Draymond Green at number six. That's a steal. Very much a steal. And Beal goes seventh to the Wizards, just like in real life. Beal at seven is definitely a steal, too. Oh, my goodness. The draft had Lillard, too, and he went eighth to the Hornets. Chris Middleton goes 19th to the Clippers. The 2012 offseason free agency. Here are your free agents. Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Carmelo Anthony, Tim Duncan, Paul Pierce, Al Jefferson, Bogut, Joe Johnson. We even got Boozer. We should probably re-sign Boozer, but let's see where these free agents go. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Spurs re-signed Tim Duncan. Thunder re-signed Kevin Durant. Jazz re-signed Al Jefferson. Timberwolves signed Chris Paul. Rockets signed Carlos Boozer. No, Carlos. Did we not offer him anything? Nuggets signed Bogut. Magic signed Joe Johnson. Knicks signed Josh Smith. Pistons signed Ginobili. What am I seeing? Bulls signed Carmelo Anthony? Yo, listen, bro. I put it on auto. The CPU did all this by themselves. By the way, Clippers signed Paul Pierce before he was washed. Carmelo Anthony teamed up with Derrick Rose. Rockets signed Kawhi Leonard. Wasn't he on his rookie contract? Oh, we also signed Eric Gordon. All right, so I guess Carlos Boozer walking benefited us. We also lost Luol Deng, apparently. He went to the Warriors. Sixers signed DeRozan. Hey, we re-signed Kyle Korver. Welcome to the 2012-2013 NBA season where Carmelo signed with the Bulls teaming up with D-Rose. Carmelo a 92 overall, D-Rose, we went up one overall following the upgrades we gave him. And we still got Joe Keem and we even signed Eric Gordon. So we're pretty stacked at the top, but once we get, this, it's not that deep of a team. But oh man, I think the Bulls have a solid shot of repeating, bro. And you know what? What better game to play than the nationally televised game between the Nets and the Bulls, Carmelo and D. Rose's debut together, along with Eric Gordon and the Nets? They have Darren Williams, Anthony Davis drafted first overall, and Brooke Lopez. That's a pretty decent front court, bro. Look at this starting lineup for us, bro. Derrick Rose, Eric Gordon, Carmelo Anthony, Taj Gibson, and Joakim Noah. All right, here we go. Joakim. You know, this is considered a super team right now, bro. Let's just give the ball straight to Melo. Melo pulls it already. Okay, Melo. We're going to have to get used to that, I guess. Good defense, D-Rose. That's practically a block. And AD. Oh, AD in his NBA debut misses that. I guess he has. he's nervous. So get a strong take at D-Will. Listen, bro. I got Melo on my team. I better not see that dude Melo selling, bro. Because every great player on my team loves to sell for some reason. Melo. Right on cue, Melo. Mello. Oh, D. Will. Oh, we're cooking up D. Will right now. Oh my goodness, D. Will. Spin. Mello. Corner. Mello, shoot your shot, buddy. Mello. Oh, Mello selling. Who would have thought? All right, so kind of a rough start for uh, the Bulls right now. Mello, I'm going to need you to spark some offense. If not, D. Rose can as well. Get off me, D. Will. We got the poster animation out of that. D. Rose intercepted, goes to the corner. Where's Melo? I don't care where he is. Shoot that Melo. Wide open Melo. Bro, it's always the great ones that be selling for me. Brooke Lopez, pick and roll ball handler, top of the key, three. What the? How did Nick Young get that board? Good rotation though, Melo. Brooke Lopez wasn't even like that back then. And we're letting Pat Beverly cook us. All right, Melo, come here, bro. Pick and fade Melo, there you go. 
Never mind, they're leaving Eric Gordon. Your turn, Eric Gordon. Early release goes in, finally. It's about time. You think one of the it's one of the greatest offensive lineups in this league right now, bro. You think we'd be able to score more points? Good block. Oh, did Pat Beverly just try to go at D Rose? Good block, D Rose. And now D Rose down the lane. AD! If AD jumped with me and I posted AD in his NBA debut, that would have been something. We got the rookie on us. D Rose. Baseline wide open. Sizing up the rookie. Goes baseline. D Rose! On Brooke Lopez's head. That's what you love about him. Once he drives the basketball, he has the ability to finish with the dunk. What a pick by D. Rose. Well, it wasn't a pick, but he did get the steal. Let's go. Corver. Corver, you can't sell, right? Corver? Corver, late release. Corver sold. Corver sold. Everybody's selling. D. Rose greens the three. Okay, we did upgrade his shooting badge. We have to take more threes out there. We're on a little run right now. We, we decreased the deficit to single digits. Good steal, Joakim. Let's go. Lob it up, Ish Smith. To D. Rowe. Oh, D. Rowe's laying it up. Funny enough, it was when Melo and Eric Gordon subbed out that we scored more points. AD at the buzzer. Wow, the rookie greens it and beats the buzzer. Down nine after the first. Bro, they're literally running five out offense in 2013. Good defense, by the way, but the Nets are literally cheesing right now. What am I watching? EG. Find D. Rose on the cut. D. Rose right at D. Will like he's not even there. D. Rose with takeover. EG. Alright, you made the pass worth it. I was questioning myself passing it out, but let's go, EG. Good steal, EG. D. Rose down the lane. Oh, I was going to give it to Melo, but I'll take the D. Rose bucket. 29-5-5 five five right now in the third quarter. Look at this five out cheese, bro. Good defense. And, oh, that was good defense. He gets the board. Joakim, stay down here with the help. Let's go. If he got his own board again. Let's go. D-Rose down the lane. Is no one quick enough? Okay. Anthony Tolliver, apparently. Melo, you should have stayed in the corner, buddy. And you take that shot. And you make it. That's a Melo type shot. Thank you, Melo. EG, go to the corner. EG, wide open. Good release and everything. Misses. Just some things you can't do about that. Maybe we got to upgrade D-Rose's dimer. D-Rose intercepted though. D-Rose showtime here in New Jersey. That's a foul too, bro. He hit my arm. Jared Rose in open space is a treat to watch. Love the way he took off and scored that one. Mello on AD. Mello. Good defense, Mello. Get that board, D-Rose. Let's go. They came back within five. Mello. Both ways. Both ends of the court. Mello greens it. Let's go. AD back in the post, Taj Gibson, I'm confident in you, good defense Taj, and D-Rose with the board again, someone's going to be open, and it's Melo again, back to back possessions, he blows it, oh, might find Melo here again, or D-Rose, catch and shoot wide open, green release, we upgraded his shooting badges, catch and shoot especially, we're up double digits, The Rose intercepted to the corner. Catch and shoot deep mid-range. It's good. A 15-point lead. Well, we sub out again in the fourth quarter. Are we going to sub in with a lead? Okay, it's up 11. Less than three minutes to go. We good. Mellow off the screen. Mellow off the screen in the clutch. Wide open. Late release. In and out. Bro, it's only a six-point game at this point. The lead is not safe at all. We got to get stops. Pat Beverly. EG on AD. I can't help. That's good defense, though. Tough shot. Mello running the show here. Takes a terrible shot. Joakim takes a terrible shot. And just like that, they have a chance to win the game themselves, bro. I mean, they have, they have the momentum right now. They're going to feed AD. Good defense. Pick it up. How did we not pick up that board, bro? I ran right to the ball. Outlet pass. Outlet pass. G Will intercepts it. Uh oh. Less than a minute left. Eight. They're feeding the rookie big time against Joakim, though? You're bugging out. Now the outlet pass. D Rose. Deep in the paint. Who's trailing? Okay, they're going to intentionally foul. 
They're doubling. Joakim, leading you into the paint. Finish that or give it to EG to hit the dagger. Joakim, you had to go up with that, bro. That was a big time mismatch. Lead isn't safe. D will. AD, that's too easy, bro. Now it's going to come down to the free throw game. All right, we hit both. We are up to possession, just nothing crazy. Brook Lopez, that's a force, and he's going to hit it with ease, bro. All right, more free throws for D-Rose. If we can even inbound the ball, there we go. There we go. He's about to hit 40 now. All right, D-Rose hit both again. Deja vu right now. We're up two possessions, and Moro is wide open. And AD, AD lost the putback. What just happened? He had an easy putback. All right, more points for D-Rose. All right, bro, following that horrendous start we had, I think we just had to get our chemistry going. We take down the New Jersey Nets in the debut of this low-key super team, but not really that deep. D-Rose, 42, 9-9 nine and nine with 5 steals, even a block, a high amount of turnovers, not gonna lie, efficient shooting though. 13 free throw attempts, that's what D-Rose does, Melo in his debut, 21 points, 8 of 24 shooting, EG in his debut, 13, but Joakim doing his thing with 18 boards, and D-Will, this nice little low-key big 3 of the Nets, did decent, D-Will, spamming that 5 out, but here we go with the upgrading for D-Rose. You've had one block during that game, and we did win this one. Submit 50k. Giant Slayer Hall of Fame. Highlight Film Hall of Fame. Slithery Finisher Hall of Fame. Let's add blinders to the man. Very important. Shooting badge, make that silver. Heat Seeker is going to be driving a lot. Make him add to his takeover. Green Machine, make that a silver. You know what, just give his clamps a goal. He's going to be facing a lot of elite point guards. He's going to have to have good defense. And Hall of Fame tight handles. Now let's do some attributes. You know what, upgrade his rebounding, bro. Make him get some triple doubles out here. 70 defensive rebound with a 55 offensive. I think would be decent. Upgrade his perimeter defense to an 85. And defensive consistency to an 80. And drive and layup by 2. And there's the upgrading following that game. Alright, so we got a glimpse of what this team would look like in the gameplays. Now let's see how they do in the simulation. Can the Bulls go back to back? D. Rose, if he didn't get hurt in the 2012 playoffs, it looks like Carmelo would have joined him in the offseason. Let's simulate to the end of the regular season. Alright, 2012-2013 NBA Awards. LeBron takes home MVP just like he did in real life in this year. Rookie of the Year goes to Anthony Davis. Damian Lillard won it in real life. Andrew Bynum, Sixth Man of the Year. Real life, it was J.R. Smith. Dwight Howard, Defensive Player of the Year. Still in Orlando, I'm pretty sure he was in the Lakers during this time, but real life, it was Marc Gasol. Jimmy Butler, Most Improved, somehow went to the Raptors. Real life, it was Paul George. D. Rose made the All-NBA First Team, and of course, in real life, he did not play during this season because of the torn ACL. So this is good to see, bro. All-NBA Second Team, and All-NBA Third Team. All-Defensive First Team. Yo, we made D. Rose make the all-defensive second team following the little defensive upgrades we gave. That's what I like to see, bro. And we got the one seed. Here are what the standings look like. Bulls, 67 and 15 with Melo and D. Rose. Heat, New Jersey, okay. Here are the West. The Sacramento Kings, pretty interesting. Facing the Bucks in the first round. The Bucks have Brandon Jennings, Tayshawn Prince, George Hill, Eric Bledsoe, Thaddeus Young, James Johnson, Cephalosh. Okay, bro. This really isn't that great of a Bucks team. We should sweep our way to the second round. And I'm actually surprised the Spurs didn't make the playoffs, but outside of Tony Parker and Tim Duncan, the team is kind of hot garbage. They lost Ginobili. I mean, yeah, then other, other than that, they got nobody. And here we go. We're going to go game by game just in case 2K wants to pull something. 1-0 lead, 2-0 lead. 3-0 lead over the Bucks, and we sweep the Bucks in round one. Now facing the four-seeded Sixers in the second round. They have DeRozan, Iguodala, Drew Holiday, who is day-to-day. -day. Tyson Chandler, Elton Bryant, Spencer Hawes. A pretty solid squad right there. Nothing like out of the ordinary, though. Let's see if we can also go game by game for this one as we take game one. We take game two. We take game three. The Bulls are owning the league right now, bro. And this is what I was afraid of. The Bulls facing off against the Miami Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. 
and Thunder Kings in the Western Conference Finals. Of course, the Miami Heat, they got LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, Jason Richardson, Mario Chalmers, Greg Oden, who is hurt. And that's about it. If you're curious who the Kings have, they have DeMarcus Cousins, Kemba Walker, Tyreek Evans, Draymond. Okay, I guess they just play well together because it's nothing that nice. And by the way, these are the Bulls stats for the regular season. D Rose led the way at 25 points per game, 24 for Melo. D Rose also had 7 rebounds and 8 assists with 2 steals. But the big three right here combining for 60 plus. You love to see it, bro. And here we go. Can we do it game by game? We take game one. We take game two. We take game three. Who can stop the Chicago Bulls? We lose our first game of the playoffs. Beat them in five games. Setting up a rematch of last year's finals. Thunder versus Bulls. And of course, in this scenario, the Thunder did not trade away James Harden, who they did in the offseason after the 2012 season. So they got a big three right here KD, Westbrook, Harden, and Ibaka. This team probably could have won a lot of championships, but a healthy D Rose stands in their way. So will the Thunder get their revenge from last year? A nice developed big three this time. Looks like they learned from last year. We take game one. They take game two. Okay, we got a simcast this one, man. This one's intense. This could go either way. The Thunder back home. It's tied up. And the Oklahoma City Thunder have a 2-1 lead. KD drops 49. We are down 2-1 in the series. Simcast the next one. Oklahoma City, a tough place to be at home. And they win by four. D Rose, 33 point double double, not enough. So we held KD to 18. We held Harden to 13. Still not enough. Wow, man. Looks like we're down three to one. Back at home though, Thunder jump out to a strong lead and completely blow us out in this one. The big three did their thing, but the big three for the Thunder did theirs as well. And the Thunder have won the 2013 NBA championship, keeping James Harden in this scenario. Looks like it's the other way around. D Rose could have won a lot of championships, but Oklahoma City stands in his way. Kevin Durant, your finals MVP. The 2013 NBA draft. This draft had Giannis in it. The Grizzlies have the number one pick. They're trading the number one pick. They're trading the first overall pick of Tony Allen for the second pick and Marvin Williams. So now the, the Warriors with Steph Curry have the number one pick. The Warriors are going to take Giannis. The Warriors just finessed and take Giannis number one overall in the 2013 NBA draft. Who are the Grizzlies gonna take at number two then? Victor Oladipo at number two. They could have had a future two-time MVP defensive player of the year in Giannis. Obviously hindsight is 2020, but dude, they passed up on Giannis. Shooter goes number three to the Knicks. We're gonna stick around for like the top five. Let's see what the Blazers take with their pick. Nerlens Noel, that's a reach. But here we go with the fifth overall pick, the Bobcats, CJ Haynes. Notables, Rudy Gobert goes number eight to the Celtics. CJ McCollum goes 13th to the Hawks. Steven Adams goes 16th to the Pacers. All right, I forgot to check who the free agents were, but here are the signings. Magic re-signed Dwight Howard. Thunder re-signed Westbrook. Celtics re-signed Garnett. Thunder re-signed Harden. They keep the big three in OKC. They even re-signed Serge Ibaka. Raptors signed Iguodala. Suns signed J.R. Smith. Warriors signed DeAndre Jordan. And those are all the notables. Kwame Brown to the Clippers. The 2013-2014 NBA season. Here's the team. D. Rose at a 93 overall. Melo at a 92. Still got Joe Keem and Eric Gordon with Taj Gibson. And we didn't really make any improvements in the offseason. But this was a pretty powerful team. Just the Thunder are more powerful. Look at the Warriors finessing, bro. Steph Curry's already a 93 overall. They got DeAndre Jordan. And they traded for Giannis. And of course, when, Gian when Giannis progresses... This might be the best team in the league. They don't got Klay Thompson, though. Power rankings have us top two, top two, top three. Okay, so we're not the best team in the league. They have the Heat, 
and the Celtics and the Thunder in front of us. How are the Celtics in front of us? Look at this team, an old KG, Rondo. This team is not better than us, bro. They did draft, they did draft nicely though with Gobert. So we're basically running it back with pretty much the same squad and hoping for a different result. Hoping Oklahoma City loses before going to the finals. So let's simulate the regular season. We're gonna save the game that we play for the playoffs and let's see what happens in the 2013, 2014 NBA season. All right, at the deadline, some notable trades. Chauncey Billups traded for Manu Ginobili. Knicks trade Chauncey Billups. Pistons trade Manu Ginobili. The 2014 NBA Awards, D. Rose takes home an MVP award, the second of his career. He averaged 26.4, 7.3 rebounds, 8.2 assists, 2.1 steals. He shot 50% from the field, 90 from the line, only 30 from three, really? Okay, I'm okay, I'll keep that noted. In real life, it was Kevin Durant, by the way. Giannis wins Rookie of the Year. In real life, it was Michael Carter-Williams. Gilbert Arenas, Sixth Man of the Year, real life, Jamal Crawford. Dwight Howard again staying on the magic defensive player of the year real life it was Joakim Noah Eric Bledsoe most improved real life it was Goran Dragic D Rose makes the all NBA first team alongside Steph Curry who is making the league aware of his presence Batum okay that's an interesting name to see on the all NBA second team Ooh, no all defensive team for D Rose this time though again we finish as the one seed the Raptors have the two seed the heat kind of slipped they have the three seed and here are the other seedings. We faced the Pacers in the first round. We had a one game better record than the Thunder. I fully expect another finals rematch. Timberwolves, Kings, Warriors, Clippers, Blazers, Hornets, and Grizzlies. So the Pacers, they got Paul George. They kept Danny Granger, Roy Hibbert, Thomas Newman, Steven Jackson, Steven Adams. And that's about it. I'm not really worried about this team. So game by game. Here we go against the Pacers, we take game one, we take game two, we take game three, and we take game four, sweeping them in the first round, facing the Sixers in the second round. The Sixers with Drew Holiday, Tyson Chandler, isn't this a rematch of last year? They have Steve Nash though, DeMar DeRozan who's hurt, Spencer Hawes, Hassan Whiteside, and look at this matchup, Thunder Warriors in the second round. By the way, this first round matchup did actually happen in real life, except the Clippers were the three seed, the Warriors were the six seed. Wait, this matchup happened too, except Thunder were the two seed, Grizzlies were the seven seed. This matchup happened too, except the Raptors were the three seed and the Brooklyn Nets were the six seed. Oh, by the way, Melo was the leading scorer on the Bulls this time. Luckily, he didn't he didn't take sneak the MVP award away from D Rose. He deserved it. All right, so game by game, here we go. Simulate through game. I don't think the Sixers should be a problem. As as I say that, they take a game. Hopefully, it's just a fluke game as we beat them in five. And just what I was worried about, the Warriors, well, I'm not really worried about it. The Warriors take down the Thunder. That's a positive for us. We don't have to face the Thunder, but we still have to get past the Miami. I'm pretty sure it's the second round and on. It's pretty much the same from last year. Miami, New Jersey, Sixers, Bulls. And now we have to face LeBron again in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Hornets, they have Klay Thompson with Damian Lillard. So literally still the Splash Brothers with a different point guard, David West, Gerald Green. And they're actually facing against Steph Curry. The Heat, 99 overall, LeBron, 93 D. Wade, Chris Bosh, Elton Brand, Greg Oden, and that's it. Let's take this game by game, but if we are in trouble, two to one. 3-1 lead. Let's sim cast this one. The Heat. Oh, the Heat are going to make a push, aren't they? Oh, wait, we're coming back? Oh, okay, they close it out. It's 3-2 in the Eastern Conference Finals. Can we just close it out, bro? Oh, my goodness. Wait, Heat up big. We lose by three. The big three went crazy. Hold up. Game 7 in the Eastern Conference Finals. Steph Curry and the Warriors await us. This was literally one year before the dynasty began. But listen, man, we got to play Game 7 in this one. We're going to play Game 7 against LeBron James in the Miami Heat. All right, man, so Game 7 against the Heat. They still got their big three with a 99 overall LeBron facing off against our Carmelo Anthony. They also added Elton Brand into their lineup. Ish Smith, I, I should be able to dominate that man. Here we go. Good board, D. Rose. Winner of this goes to the finals where the Warriors await us. Joakim, you got your Smith on you. Easy roll, easy lob. Finish that, Joakim. Or not. Come here, Joakim. Send me a good screen. 
That's decent. Joakim, finish this one, buddy. There you go. Easy finish. Uh, you don't want to dunk it for some reason? That would give us some energy, but I'll take it. Good defense, Melo, on Chris Bosh. Okay, and down the court. D-Way can't keep up. D-Rose all the way. Good outlet pass, Melo. Curry averaging 40 in the playoffs. 40? He's averaging 40 in the playoffs? That's insane. Oh, they also got Joe Keem. I mean, they also got Greg Oden, who's in the game right now. Good screen, Joe Keem. Good roll, Joe Keem. Good finish, Joe Keem. Never mind. You're going to get blocked by Oden. I got to take that. Watch LeBron in the corner. LeBron, double contest. Let's go, Melo. Push it. D-Rose down the court. D-Rose, spin. Why Melo? Relax, Melo. Melo about to force it, bro. Good move by D-Rose. Strong take all the way. Oh yeah, Melo. Oh, never mind. LeBron picked up. LeBron didn't pick up. I saw you, Melo. Oh, good reverse of the screen by D-Rose all the way to the bucket. Let's go, man. I need my shooters to spot up. My shooters don't want to spot up, though. I mean, they're not even leaving my shooters, so. Oh, Taj. Bounce pass. Taj Gibson inside. What a pass. He misses. Reset. Okay, or clean up. What a nice bounce pass. Joakim dotted. Joakim, oh, the cross-court pass from D-Rose, bullet passer right there, the dot to Joakim, let's go, what a pass, Chris Bosh sleeping. Someone's gonna be open, it's EG, EG, in the corner, late release, EG, Joakim cleans it up, D-Rose. Got LeBron James on D-Rose, and LeBron reaching. Good double on Wade. Two people on Wade. Good defense. He still went up with it, even past it. Who's going to be open? Why is Brandon Bass in the game, man? We need more spacing in that. Joe Keem the screen. Joe Keem. D Rose all the way. 19 point lead early in the second. D Wade on the glitchy cut. Oh my goodness. Just like that. They're on a little run. 8 0 run in 40 seconds. As soon as I say the lead that we have. Every time I say the lead that we have, we end up losing it. Good screen, Joakim, Joakim. Inside, finish that. I want my assist. Let's go. Good contest, D-Rose. Outlet pass, outlet pass. He deserves it. Oh, D-Wade and LeBron back. Who's running? Melo should be open. Melo, look at the fine to Melo just for him to ruin it. D-Rose subs out again. They did close a little bit. It's a 10-point deficit. Oh, my goodness. The bench. 19-point lead at the half. In game seven. We gotta keep it up though. Mello with the screen. Mello rolling. The spin by D Rose. Oh, all the way. Reverse layup. A and one. Don't let my T Rose get injured, bro. The whole scenario is if he doesn't get injured. We sub out again. Fourth quarter of 30. Yo, I gotta credit the bench. I mean, we, we gave him the lead and they kept the lead and grew it. Fourth quarter, 30 point lead. We can't blow it, right? T-Rose for three, bro. Cooking up the heat in game seven. It's over. We're moving on to the finals. Hopefully, I don't jinx it. A pretty anticlimactic game seven turned into a blowout, but D-Rose, the near triple-double, who's only one rebound away in this game seven. Very efficient shooting. And this man, Alan Crabb, in his nine minutes, lit it up. Joe Keem, 23 and 22. A lot of scorers on this team. What the? Wait, hold up. Melo had six on two and 13 shooting. We still blew him out. D Wade at 20. LeBron in this game, seven. 17 points, seven of 21 shooting. He's a 99 overall. Reset LeBron James home. Zero blocks and another victory in a game that we play. How much experience points are we going to earn for this one? 46k. Listen, first, before we do all the shooting and stuff, we already upgraded a little bit, but I want to give D-Rose, like, all the finishing badges. But honestly, he pretty much already has all of them. Let's make Lob City Finisher a Hall of Fame. He just doesn't really have all the post-scoring badges on Hall of Fame, but he's Seeker. Make that a Hall of Fame. And yeah, he pretty much has all the... Inside scoring badges, Hall of Fame, except for the post-scoring ones. And then next, I want to do playmaking, and then we can do shooting and defense. So boom, handles for days, Hall of Fame. Space creator, Hall of Fame. Unpluckable, Hall of Fame. And let's use the rest on his attributes. Shot close, 95. Driving layup, 95. 
and driving dunk by two and there's the upgrading for this portion th that game seven and that brings us to the finals who we're facing Steph Curry who's averaging 40 points per game in these playoffs the Warriors roster Steph Curry DeAndre Jordan former bull Luol Deng this has got Lou Will and they drafted and finessed the league and they drafted Giannis first overall. Here we go, man. The 2014 NBA Finals in real life. Of course, the Spurs won it. Faced off against the Heat. And we took down the Heat. But looks like the Warriors dynasty may start a year earlier. Let's sim cast game number one. In the Bulls home. We held the lead most of the game. And we close it out. D-Rose in the simulation. 50, 10, and 8. D-Rose going crazy. All right, game number two. Still in Chicago, D-Rose coming off a 50-point game, and looks like they take this one. D-Rose had 30. Melo, it was his turn to go off. 46. While <laughs> Curry had 50. Game number three, it's tied up, and it's in Golden State. This one looks like it's going back and forth. We increased the lead a little bit. Fourth quarter, we close it out. EG this time, the leading score. Balance scoring this time. Curry at 28. Giannis, 9 of 9, 20 points. 2-1 to one lead for the Bulls. Come on, man. We need another ring under D Rose's belt. Oh my goodness, looks like oh, oh overtime! Overtime! D Rose 16 assists. Melo is 37. This one went into overtime. And it was Melo who made a dunk to tie the game and send it into overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bulls are up 3-1 against the Warriors. In Chicago, can we close it out and win it on our home court? Oh my goodness, it's happening. They've done it! They've won the NBA championship! Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes from winning it all. An incredible display of resilience. Seemingly, every time they were challenged, Grant, they rose to the occasion. NBA, I have to give props to the front office for making all the right moves. And the coaching, just phenomenal. And then, hey, it's a player's league. Those guys came out and took care of business. And thanks to everyone out there who's been with us through this entire journey. Take care, and we'll see you next season. D. Rose, another finals MVP, along with another ring. And we got Melo, his ring, too. Bulls have won the 2014 NBA Championship D. Rose finals MVP. So it's like if D. Rose didn't get hurt, it would have benefited everybody. Even Melo would have got a ring. The 2014 NBA Draft. The Celtics have the number one pick, and they take Andrew Wiggins. The Hawks have the second overall pick, and they take, oh, wow, wow. Gary Harris goes number two overall. The Wizards have the third pick, and take Jabari Parker. Sarich goes number five. Smart goes number six to the Knicks. Jokic, who went in the second round in real life, goes seventh overall to the Spurs. Embiid goes number eight to the Bobcats? Zach Levine goes 10 to the Suns. And Aaron Gordon got drafted by the Magic, like in real life. Randall goes 14th to the Bucks. 2014 free agency, here are the names. Blake Griffin, Steph Curry, Tony Parker, Paul Millsap, Brooke Lopez, Drew Holiday, Zach Randolph, Joakim Noah. We gotta get that man back. Here's where every big name free agent went. Warriors re-signed Steph Curry. The Kings signed Tony Parker. He's still like a 91 overall, bro. Bobcats signed Drew Holiday. Cavs signed Danny Granger. Bucks signed Gallinari. Celtics signed Blake Griffin, the highest overall in the draft class. And Bulls signed Richard Jefferson, okay. Hornets signed Mark Gasol. So here's the roster in the 2014-2015 NBA season. Still got D-Rose. He went up overall due to the upgrading. 94 overall. Melo, a 91 overall. We still got Joakim and Eric Gordon. So we did re-sign Joakim. And the team is still pretty much the same. Except, I mean, why not run it back? We just won the championship. The power rankings. This one doesn't even have us in the top. All right, we're barely top 10 in that one. Fifth in this one. And fifth, okay, so I, I think they're kind of sleeping on the Bulls. They don't think we could repeat. Let's simulate the regular season, man. Notable trades. Uh, I mean, I guess Rudy for Amari Stoudemire is the only notable trade. Rudy is now on the Knicks. 
MVP goes to Steph Curry averaging 30 and almost 12 assists. In real life, it actually was Steph Curry as well. Rookie of the year goes to Jokic in real life. It was Wiggins. Sean Livingston, sixth man of the year. Real life, it was Lou Will. Josh Smith, still making a presence. Defensive player of the year, real life, it was Kawhi. Drumming the most improved, real life, it was Jimmy Butler. All NBA first team, no D Rose. All NBA second team, there is D Rose. All NBA third team, all defensive first team. All defensive second team, no D Rose. Wow, we actually did slip a little bit. Okay, we're the third seed in the East. The Pacers are the one seed with Paul George, Nate Robinson. We lost Taj Gibson. Taj Gibson went to a division rival. And here are the other standings. As for the Western Conference, the Warriors dynasty, I think, is beginning, bro. Last year, it would have been a dynasty if we didn't win it. And we're facing the sixth seeded Magic in the first round. They got Dwight Howard, Joe Johnson, KCP, Aaron Gordon. Not the greatest team, man. We should be able to get past the Magic. So we're going to sim this game by game. There shouldn't be an... Oh, no. We lose game one. We lose game two. Is someone on the team hurt? EG is day to day. What is going on in these games, though? Like, D-Rose with 22. No one really going crazy. Melo. D-Rose had 18. Like, yeah, how are we losing, bro? I guess let's sim cast the next one. We're down 2-0 in the first round, and they're completely blowing us out. I am in disbelief. Coming off an NBA championship, are we going to get swept? No, we... Oh, we almost blew it. Come on, man. Let's wake up. We're down 3-0. It's going to be a tough road from here on out. And... Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Can we make the comeback? And... They, they close us out, bro. We didn't get to play a game in this season. No big deal, though. That's actually crazy, bro. Let's simulate round by round. Let's see who moves on. Oh, the Warriors taken down by the Thunder. Simulate round. What's going to be the finals matchup? Pacers, Thunder. Thunder still have their big three with Ibaka. And the Pacers with Paul George, Nate Robinson, Roy Hibbert, Steven Adams, Taj Gibson is seeing success leaving the Bulls. Who wins the finals? Will the, oh, the Thunder get stopped? Thunder really lose to the Pacers. Playoff P. This is the real playoff P, 40 points per game in the finals, finals MVP. The 2015 NBA draft, the Bucks have a decent team. Our number one, they select Carl Anthony Towns. Okay, that's the, that's the best pick in this draft. And who are the Knicks going to take at number two, bro? Tyson, okay, that's a random. Are you kidding me? So who are the Pistons going to take at number three then? Pistons take Porzingis. Booker went sixth to the Jazz. D'Angelo Russell went 10th to the Blazers. I thought this was Derrick Rose, bro. No, it's Daryl Rose. He went to the Nets. Montrezl Harrell went 29th. Kelly Oubre went 30th to the Pacers. 2015 free agency. LeBron James is available. 99 overall. Chris Paul, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, Dwayne Wade. This is a stacked free agency class, bro. This could be a game changer for every team. Here are the big free agency signings. Raptors signed Jimmy Butler. Wasn't he already on the Raptors? Hornets re-signed Clay. Pacers re-signed Paul George. Timberwolves re-signed Chris Paul. Jazz re-signed Gordon Hayward. Kyrie back to the Cavs. Heat re-signed LeBron. So we never went to the Cavs in this scenario. They even re-signed Dwayne Wade. Dirk was back to the Mavericks. Timberwolves re-signed. Okay. A lot of teams fumbled the bag because they went back to their original team. Oh, oh, oh. Kawhi goes to the 76ers. Okay. So that's a new addition. The Sixers are looking like a decent team. Amari Stoudemire still getting paid this much. They re he re-signs with the Suns. Oh, Clippers signed Kemba. Lakers re-signed Kobe. And this is, in real life, this is the season he retired. Yeah. 2015-2016 Chicago Bulls roster. D-Rose still in 94 at age 27. Melo still in 91. We got pretty much the same core. And I don't know how I feel about that, but David Lee, a nice addition. Alan Crabb, and that's about it, bro. Pretty much we're running it back again. And this is D-Rose's contract year. He will be in free agency after this season. This power rankings has us... What the? They have a 16th. This one has us top five. This one has us top six. We're getting disrespected by NBA.com. So let's simulate the regular season again and see what happens. The Bulls better perform well or I think Derrick Rose is going to walk. And he's not going to resign with the Bulls. It's not looking very good right now. It's coming down to the wire, man. Will the Bulls make the playoffs? If you look in the top right, they're hovering around 10. They finished strong. KD MVP. Real life, it was Steph Curry. D-Lo rookie of the year. Real life, it was Cat. 
Sean Livingston sixth man of the year again. It was, in real life, it was Jamal Crawford. Dwight Howard still putting up numbers with the magic. Real life, it was Kawhi though. Joel Embiid most approved. Real life, it was CJ McCollum. All NBA first team. All NBA second team. D Rose does make the cut. All NBA third team. Giannis and DeAndre Jordan. Look at the Warriors super team, bro. They always gotta be forming a super team nowhere else for D Rose. And we actually missed the playoffs. We finished tenth. How in the world did the Bulls miss the playoffs? They didn't even miss it by that much. Wow, they missed it by a game. It was separated by that much. See, if there was a play-in tournament right here, bro, D-Rose, Carmelo, and Joe Keem. And this is also Carmelo's contract year. Is he going to leave the Bulls too? Looks like the one seeds are the same. Will it be a finals rematch of Thunder Pacers? No, it's Thunder Celtics. Again, the Thunder lose in the finals. They're so close, but yet so far. Rondo, most, I mean, finals MVP. The Celtics won the championship thanks to Blake Griffin signed to him. He was the top free agent in that class. They also drafted Wiggins. Kobe Bryant retires along with Vince Carter. The 2016 NBA draft, the Raptors have the number one pick and they take Ben Simmons. Oh, but we have the number three pick. Oh, okay. I don't know how that happened, but Jalen Brown is off the board. Who are we gonna take? With the third overall pick, we take, oh my goodness, <sighs> we take that, okay, yeah, D-Rose is leaving, Scout LeBissier, we missed out on Brandon Ingram, bro, Jamal Murray goes seventh to the Nuggets, Sabonis goes to the Mavericks, Buddy Heald 18th to the Blazers, Siakam 19th, Levert 20th, literally it was tough to screw this up and we screwed it up, I think D-Rose is out, free agency, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, Derrick Rose, Carmelo Anthony, Darren Williams, Lillard, Chris Bosh, Drummond, Tim Duncan. I think the Bulls dynasty, whatever it was, is over. The moment of truth. Let's see the free agency signings. Thunder re-signed Kevin Durant. Blazers re-signed Aldridge. Bulls re-signed Derrick Rose. Okay, so Derrick did go back to the Bulls, but did Carmelo come back? Nets re-signed AD. Every other big player got re-signed. Spurs signed Darren Williams. Where's Carmelo Anthony, man? He 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 was thinking long and hard about it. Oh, he re-signed with the Bulls as well. Okay, but it did take him a while to think. Look, this this was on the 22nd. This is like the third day of free agency. Spurs re-signed Tim Duncan. So the 2016-2017 NBA season, D-Rose, Melo, and Joe Keem. But Eric Gordon is gone, so essentially, we got worse. So we got Ryan Hollins on the team. Well, let's simulate regular season again. Power rankings have us top 10, at least, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what happens this season. 2017 NBA Awards. Paul George takes home MVP, averaging 36 points per game. Real life, it was Russell Westbrook. Ben Simmons rookie of the year in real life they didn't play this season because in real life it was Malcolm Brogdon Sean Livingston taking home six man of the year year after year real life it was Eric Gordon Dwayne Howard defensive player of the year real life it was Draymond Green Jokic most improved already averaging those numbers geez real life it was Giannis all NBA first team you got Boogie on it all NBA second team no D Rose all NBA third team no D Rose all right the Bulls make it as the seventh seed in the West, you got the Thunder. Did the Pacer and the Thunder running the league right now? Always getting the one seed. Here are the stats for the season. How did D-Rose not make an All-NBA team? Okay, at least they're combining for over 55 plus together. How did none of them make the All-NBA teams though? I guess because of the seeding. Facing the two-seeded Bobcats in the first round. This team has Embiid, Drew Holiday, Batum, Eric Gordon. We are facing our former teammate, Eric Gordon. He went to the Bobcats, bro. Are you kidding me? We will play a game this time if needed, but let's simulate game by game for right now. They take game one? We take game two. All right, I guess we got a simcast game by game. Come on, Chicago. It's the Bobcats, bro. I mean, the better Bobcats, but still, okay, we take it home. We're up two to one. Let's simulate the game. Okay, we're up three one. Can we just simulate game, bro? We move on to the second round. Three seated Wizards. Andrew Bynum, John Wall, Bradley Beal, Jabari Parker, Josh Richardson. This is a nice, well-rounded lineup, bro. All right, let's see what happens if we go game by game. Oh, of course, they're going to take it. Let's simcast game two, bro. Simcast being showing us love. 
And okay. And it does. D Rose a triple double in this one. Game three, let's sim cast it. Come on, bro. It's going back and forth. Oh, and we we go up big. Okay, we almost lost it there at the end. D Rose going crazy in the simulations. Come on, D Rose. We're up two to one. Let's go straight into the sim cast, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness, we lose by two. D Rose inefficient. 11 to 32. Let's see what happens if we sim, sim game. Okay, 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 okay. We take it, we take it. Let's sim cast the next one, bro. Is there gonna be a game seven? They're up early. Oh, we take the lead. Oh my goodness. And we are in the Eastern Conference Finals as the seventh seed against the one seeded Pacers and MVP Paul George. Pacers, Paul George, Nate Robinson, Roy Hibbert, Steven Adams, Thomas Newman, Taj Gibson, another former teammate, Rodney Hood. They drafted well too. Simcast game by game, man. Simcast game by game. Game one in Indiana, and they keep a consistent lead. Oh, we come back in the final seconds. Let's go. We're up 1-0. We came back in the final seconds. If we go up 2-0, they might bounce back. It's going back and forth, and they close it out. D-Rose triple-double. A pivotal game three right here, bro. A pivotal game three. A pivotal. We win by one single point what happened at the end all right at the end they took a dunk instead of going for the game time three up two to one as the seventh seed we are the underdogs the whole season this one's going back and forth oh my goodness we close it out three one lead let's see what happens if we press simulate through game oh my goodness we're in the finals we're in the, we're in the finals simulate round a rematch of the 2012-2013 nba finals in this simulation we lost to okc last time we faced them they have maintained their big three. They got Serge Ibaka and Jay Crowder and Al Jefferson. They're even better than last time. NBA Finals. Oh, I didn't even mean to press simulate through game. I meant to sim cast it. Are you kidding me? Can we bounce back in game two in OKC? They got the big three fourth quarter and we are having a big fourth quarter. Carmelo stepping up as is D Rose. Game number three. I will be playing a game in this series. I just wanted to be one oh my goodness we blow him out in this one d rose 39 we're up two to one in the finals two to one against the team that beat us in the finals last time we met up it looks like they're gonna answer back it did come out be pretty close come on man alan crab has been big bro alan crab out of nowhere i kind of want to play game five because it's a pivotal game i feel like whoever takes home game five will end up winning this series please tell me i made the right decision we win by five d rose 33 Mello hurt. He's hurt, but not injured. No thought into it. Let's go. Let's go straight into it. Let's go straight into it. Let's go straight into it. Close it out. Oh my goodness. Oh. Game seven. Game seven. Game seven of the finals against the Thunder. Big three Thunder. Carmelo Anthony was hurt, but now he has a pulled right bicep and is out for the season, which means he's out for the game seven, which means D Rose. Is by himself? What? Is Melo playing? It says pull right bicep season. I guess he's just hurt. And he's going to play through it. Okay, Melo, this is game seven. So you might as well play. I don't know how we as the seventh seed made it to the finals. I guess we just have a lot of heart, man. Here we go. Will D. Rose get another ring? Good screen, Joakim. Easy, Joakim. Good start to the game. Mello playing through the injury, but he's at a much lower overall. Oh, good steal, Mello. Running, Mello. Mello playing through the injury. Joakim inside, Joakim. Finish that. Good layup. Let's go. Run it, run it. Mello to my right. Mello, spot up. Mello. Hurt. Mello, mid range. Mello. Okay, I like the shot. Mello still has his confidence. KD in the corner. Mello, I think that's a little too much space for KD. Step back, good defense. As Westbrook dunks on three Chicago Bulls. Let's go Mello, spot up Mello. Mello wide open, KD late. And your release is late. Another sell from Mello. Good contest on Westbrook. Good board by D-Rose. D-Rose, not really involved in the offense as much. Has KD on him here. As KD on him here. Good screen, Joakim. As D-Rose. 
And one blocky foul. There we go, D Rose. Let's go, Mello. Mello to my left. Ibaka closes out, leaving an open paint for D Rose. Nice finish. Cross, spin, jumper, free throw line, spin, jumper, difficult shots, and Derrick Rose. Bulls up by two. D Rose subs out up by two. Early in the second, we're all of a sudden down seven. Give me that, the steal, D Rose. Fast break, Ibaka better not jump with me. D Rose all the way reverse, Ibaka, business decision. Good screen, Joakim. Wide open three for D Rose the green. The bench helped me out the last time we played the game seven. I don't think they're gonna help me out much this time. D Rose gonna have to score a lot. Wow, Harden greened that. His pump fake got me, bro. There was like a couple seconds left on the shot clock. Harden, that's actually something Harden would do. I like that. I like that, JK. Okay. Harden. He should not have passed that, bro. That slithery finish, he was already at the rim. Who are these people in the game, man? Oh, that's Jared Bayless. All right, David Lee, the screen. D Rose would take over all the way, fearless. Oh my goodness, what a pass from D Rose. Cooking up Harden in that pick and roll. We gotta get some stops, but you know. It's not easy to get stops against this team right here. All right, third quarter. Mello with 26% chance for that to go in at the free throw line. Early in the third, we're still down by four. D-Rose is going crazy, though. D-Rose. What just happened? He just made an 80% contest? In a game seven? Nah, you can't be allowing that, Duque. Make them work for their buckets. Make it Joakim finish on Westbrook. And we're missing that? Back outside. Okay, I had a watch. Joakim is getting on my nerves. Let's go. Let's go. We have the lead. Shake Westbrook. We did shake him. All the way. Oh, that would have been a huge hand one. All right, D-Rose has his takeover. Up by one. Seven minutes to go in the fourth. Game seven of the NBA Finals. D-Rose attacking the basket. Good defense on Westbrook. Oh my goodness. That was great defense. It's the fourth quarter now, bro. You can't be doing that. Joakim, set the screen on the one side. I want you to set the screen. D-Rose on Westbrook. Dunks it home. He'll go to the line. The heart from Rose didn't quit on the play. And his hands in the right spot. More often than not. Good defense on Westbrook. Can you give him the foul? And that's five on D-Rose. He can't foul out, man. There it is, Joakim. There it is. Hop step. D Rose. Floater in the lane. 62 and counting. Four point lead. Deny Westbrook. Oh, the bump steal. Pick it up. Oh, my goodness. And our good defense leads to an easy basket for them. Down screen for Melo. It worked. Melo. Off my screen. He still be selling. Even off my screen. Westbrook top of the key. One more foul and I'm out of here, so I gotta be careful. Good defense. Good defense. Oh, David Lee, I need you to cut. Oh, Derrick Rose, all the way, finger roll. Bro, they're hitting tough shots to stay in the game, bro. It's not fair. D Rose for three. No, we see Joe Keem. Oh, yeah, Joe Keem. Oh, he blew the layup. Joe Keem blew the layup. Oh, that's Westbrook six, and he's fouled out. Now he's at the free throw line. I would rather him finish the layup. He's about to miss both free throws. Come on, man. Westbrook's out the game. Good contest on Powell. Let's go. D Rose in transition. Spin. Oh, okay, okay. KD played good defense there. Come here, Joe Keem. Joakim, inside! Joakim, you gotta finish on Harden! 
Yo, this man, Joe Keem, is selling. KD up top, three pointer. All right, Joe Keem. Alvin, ba Alan Crab, Alan Crab, Alan Crab. What the? You can't be doing this this late in the game of a game seven. Joakim, get in the paint, bro. Melo, good defense on KD. D Rose with the board. Coming down to the wire. In this game seven. Waste the clock, bro. Look at D Rose's stat line. I want David Lee setting the screen. David Lee. D Rose. Open lane. Throw it down. Yes, he did. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? We're up two possessions. Less than a minute to go. Uh oh. Katie about to pull something crazy. I'm not leaving Powell. I'm not leaving Powell. Play some defense. I went over. Look at the defense by D. Rose. Harden. KD. Durant. Are you kidding me? He hits that. Him on the ball. Come on. We good. We good. Don't tell me he's going to... We got a quick first step. No, no, no. Too early. Too early. We could hold it. One of the last shots. Mellow. Fade on this, buddy. Fade on this, Mello. 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 Oh, air ball. Oh, my goodness. That gives him time. He's holding his elbow. Three seconds. Harden wide open in the corner. Why did we leave this man wide open? Oh, we got point nine, bro. We got point nine. Find D Rose. D Rose! At the buzzer! D Rose! Game seven of the finals, game winner! And they've done it! They've won the NBA championship! What a moment it is right now to see the team who plays so well together enjoying this NBA championship moment. Hey, it's the ultimate accomplishment, right? This team has leaned on its solidarity all year, Grant. You know, B.A., when guys want to play for one another, the sum becomes greater than its parts. This club really bonded together in the face of adversity time and time again, standing tall as one. Boy, it's been a beautiful thing to watch. And a special thanks to everyone out there from 2K Sports. We couldn't make it happen without you. Good night and be well. My goodness 42 minutes 70 points for Derrick Rose topping off with the game winner in game seven of the finals eight eight rebounds 11 assists three steals one block very efficient shooting oh Melo was non-existent the big three went crazy and that's another ring for the man Derrick Rose victorious in this one Submit game 55k. We're gonna go crazy in this one, man. Make his three ball a 90. 95 mid range. Driving dunk 99. Max out his speed, acceleration, speed with ball. Max out his vertical. Stamina can also max it out. Why not? 99 ball handling. His passing, let's upgrade that too. His defense 90 defense. 95 lateral quickness. 85 steel block to a 60 
defensive consistency to a 90 strength for more posters 85 his defensive and offensive rebounding 80 65 offensive max out his hustle max out his driving layup oh we're just short one more to shot close another the shot close look at this upgrading following those upgrades he's now a 97 overall your 2017 nba champion chicago bulls with derrick rose his third ring man so derrick rose at age 28 man already has three rings to his name Three rings, two MVPs, all those all-star appearances. We even made him make the all-defensive team. Timmy D retires. The 2017 NBA draft, the Suns have the number one pick, and they take Jason Tatum. Okay, I think that's a great pick for Phoenix, bro. Who do the Pacers take at number two? We're just gonna stick it up for the top. Okay, Lowry Markinen at number two? I don't know about that one, bro. Who's number three? Raptors at number three, Markel Fultz. Donovan Mitchell goes four to the Knicks. Kuzma goes fifth to the Hawks. Lonzo Ball goes 10th to the Pistons. Bam out of bio goes 14th to the Sixers. They have a lot of big men. De'Aaron Fox, 19th to the Clippers. Jared Allen got drafted in the second round by the Cavs, his current team in real life. Here are the big name free agents in 2017. Dwight Howard, Russell Westbrook. Dwight Howard's still a beast, by the way. 96 overall. James Harden, Giannis... Andrew Bynum, DeAndre Jordan, Rudy Gobert, Drew Holiday. We got some nice names here, bro. All right, here's where every free agent went. Thunder re-signed Westbrook. They still have their big three, bro. Wizards re-signed Bynum. Thunder even re-signed Serge Ibaka. Warriors re-signed DeAndre Jordan and Giannis. Everybody got re-signed. No! James Harden signs with the Spurs. The first member to leave the big three Thunder. James Harden. And he left by choice. Magic re-signed Dwight Howard. That was the top in that free agency class. Celtics re-signed Gobert. Oh, we signed Greg Oden? Okay, I guess we'll get using him. Never mind. I guess Hornets signed Jared Allen. I guess they didn't I guess he didn't complete his rookie deal. He didn't sign his rookie contract. Alright, the 2017-2018 Chicago Bulls, Derrick Rose, age 29. We still got Melo on the team. Melo been loyal with the Bulls, man. I like that. We still got Joe Keem at an 87 overall, but then after that, we do have a new signing of Wesley Matthews, but not really anything too special. Greg Oden, I guess. David Lee really regressing. A young Malik Beasley. Power rankings. NBA.com always disrespecting us. Barely top 10, top 3, and Eric has his top 10 barely as well. All right, the Bulls won it last year as the seventh seed. I don't expect them to be that low again. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll miss it. But let's see if they can go back to back. And let's see what numbers Derrick Rose puts up at a 97 overall following those upgrades. 2018 NBA Awards. Steph Curry takes home MVP in real life. It was James Harden. Markel Fultz is rookie of the year, real life. Ben Simmons. Uh, this guy is sixth man of the year, real life. It was Lou Will. Rudy Gobert, defensive player of the year. Boom. Just like in real life. Kristaps Porzingis most improved if only he could put up these numbers in that first round series against the Clippers man real life it was Victor Oladipo Derrick Rose all NBA first team Derrick Rose all defensive second team once again look at the numbers D Rose put up 34 points per game 8.4 rebounds 8 assists 2.3 steals and almost a block and you're telling me he did not win MVP and he finished as the two seed the two seed behind the Sixers, the Chicago Bulls right there improved. Derrick Rose got a lot of confidence after that game seven victory. And I guess Curry won it because he's the one seed and has the best record in the league. Probably because they finessed Giannis, bro. I still am not going to live that down. They finessed Giannis from the league. And this guy, Mo Tinsley, is an 89 overall for them. And DJ's an 89 overall too, bro. What? They got like 490 overalls on their team. What? We have to face the Heat? In the first round, the Heat still have LeBron, and he's a 98 overall. Dwayne Wade, 87 overall. Bogut. Look at J.R. Smith following LeBron, bro. DeJounte Murray. This is not a team want to play in the first round, bro. Well, let's go game by game. Simulate through game. Just what I was afraid of, bro. Simulate through game. We're down 2-0 just like that. Just like that, we're down 2-0 against the Miami Heat. Looks like we're bouncing back. In game three, though, D. Rose 37, Mello with 39. That's what the big three got to do, bro. Can we do it again, bro? Down two to one. 
We lost the first two. Looks like the Heat. Oh my goodness, we are down three to one. Melo and Rose keep doing their thing, but J.R. Smith going crazy alongside LeBron. We're down three to one. This was just a tough situation facing the Heat in the first round. We have the lead here. Oh my goodness, we won it at the last second, I think. What happened at the end, bro? Derrick Rose hit a game-winning three-pointer, bro. And then J.R. Smith missed his potential game winner. And that gives us a 3-2 deficit. Can we force a game seven at least? And this one's coming down to the wire. No. We have gotten first rounded. Following a championship season, Melo shoots 13 of 32. This is the second time we get first rounded, bro. Who wins the championship? The Pacers versus Warriors. And the Warriors win it. Steph Curry takes home his first career finals MVP award. The 2018 NBA Draft Lakers have the number one pick and they take Luka Doncic with the first overall pick. Luka Doncic is on the Lakers now, bro. This was a pretty good draft class. Who takes number two? Jaron Jackson Jr. I feel like there was a better pick than that. The Cavs at number three take MPJ. Okay. Aiden goes fourth to the Suns like in real life. Okay. Trey Young goes seventh to the Blazers. Shea Gilgis Alexander goes 10th to the Hawks. 2018 free agency, Kawhi Leonard, Steph Curry, Blake Griffin, Jokic, and Bede. Joakim Noah, we kind of need him back, man. He's the anchor of this team. All right, here are the free agency results. Bobcat signed Joel Embiid. Pretty sure that's re-signing. Celtics signed Wiggins. Pau Gasol still on the Lakers. That's loyalty, bro. Warriors re-signed Curry. Celtics re-signed Blake. Everybody got re-signed. We even re-signed Joakim Noah. Kawhi back to the Sixers. Spurs re-signed Jokic. They also have James Harden on their team, bro. The 2018-2019 NBA season, Derrick Rose, age 30, still got Melo, Joakim, pretty much the same roster, bro. But, significance, Derrick Rose and Melo, both on the last years of their contract. But Melo has a player option. So it will be interesting to see what turns out at the end of the season. Will Derrick Rose and Melo part ways? Will they go on different teams? We're going to find out as we simulate the regular season. Curry, back-to-back -back MVPs, real life, it was Giannis. Luka, Rookie of the Year, just like in real life. Cody Zeller, Sixth Man of the Year, real life, Lou Will. Rudy Gobert, back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Years, just like in real life. Ben Simmons, Most Improved, real life, it was Siakam. Derrick Rose makes the All-NBA First Team. No All-Defensive Team for Rose this time. All right, Derrick Rose, 29 points per game, same rebounds and assists, 2.1 steals. Melo still doing his thing. I'm surprised he's not going on any of the All-NBA teams, bro. Eastern Conference Sands, we finish as the fifth seed. Wizards and Pacers top two it's for the West. Looks like another Warriors dynasty has started, but this time, like in, I mean, like in real life, but this time it's in later years. Facing the Sixers in the first round, not a team you want to play, bro. Because they have Kawhi Leonard, DeRozan, Brandon Jennings still in the league, Nerlens Noel, Capella, Moutier, Bam Adebayo. Can we pull through, simulate game by game? Bro, we're just having tough luck right now. I mean, okay, we take it 2-1, to 3-1, to one. okay, close it out, 4-1, to one. okay, never mind. We drop the first and then win the next one. And luckily for us, we have to play the eight-seeded Bobcats now. Which, by the way, I probably should have done the relocations the year they happened. No big deal, though. Bobcats, Joel Embiid, Drew Holiday, Batum, Jeff Teague. That's about it, bro. We can handle this team. They're not really a terrible eight-seed, but we should be able to get it done. Looks like Drew Holiday is no match for Derrick Rose. We sweep our way back to the Eastern Conference Finals where the Knicks await us. The Knicks with Donovan Mitchell, Schroeder, Josh Smith, Vucevic, Sanders. Okay, nothing too crazy, but they do have a pretty deep team. Oh, and they have Jalen Brown, who's hurt. He was their best player. We should be going to the finals, bro. All right, let's go game by game. Knicks? What? How are the Knicks winning? Who is guarding Rose on this team? Okay, oh, okay. What a bounce back right there. We win by like 50. We do win by 50. D Rose and Melo doing their thing. And yeah, we just clamped them up. How do we drop the first two and then win by 50 and we blow a lead that we have can we close it out no no we can't mellow 5 of 24 we're down 3-1 now 
This should have been an easy trip to the finals. We're in MSG right now though. And uh, wow, we couldn't get past the Knicks? We couldn't get past the Knicks? Like I said, a really deep team. And they're in the finals, awaiting their opponent, Warriors Knicks NBA Finals. Will the Warriors go back to back? The Knicks lose in six. Curry back to back championships, back to back finals MVP. 2019 NBA Draft Kings with the number one overall pick, Zion Williamson. I'd imagine the Nets are taking John ja Morant at number two. Teaming them up with Anthony Davis. Don't screw this up. Yep, they take John ja Morant. Now let's see if the Grizzlies take RJ Barrett. And number three, no, Brandon Clark. Just like he plays for the Grizzlies in real life. Drafted by the Thunder though and then traded. DeAndre Hunter, what the? Where's RJ Barrett? He goes sixth to the Rockets? Bull Bull goes first round, eighth to the Pistons. Golga goes ninth. Tyler Hero goes 18th. Carmelo Anthony accepts his player option for 47 mil at age 34. But where will D Rose go? Free agency. Derrick Rose at the top at a 97 overall. Then you got Cat, Kyrie Irving, Paul George, Clay Thompson, Porzingis, Kemba Walker. Free agency results. Buck signed Cat. Bull signed point guard Bernard Cameron. Does that mean D Rose left, bro? Pacers resigned Paul George, Cavs resigned Kyrie, Hornets resigned Clay. Everybody got resigned. Where is the D Rose signing, bro? I am scared to see. Looks like D Rose was thinking about it, bro. Bulls resigned Derrick Rose to a five year deal. So the 2019-2020 NBA season, look at the loyalty over here, bro. D-Rose, Melo, Joaquin, been through it thick and thin. True loyalty. I think I'm going to simulate until the present day. So like the 2021 NBA season. So like one or two more seasons, man. Somehow, someway, Bulls get the one seed and D-Rose takes home another MVP award at age 31. 33 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, even up. Oh yeah. Imagine he wins Defensive Player of the Year too. In real life, it was Giannis. Zion Rookie of the Year, of course, but in real life, it was John Morant. Brogdon, Sixth Man of the Year, real life, Montrez Harrell. Miles Turner, Defensive Player of the Year, real life, it was Giannis. Luka, Most Improved, he was a candidate in real life, but in real life, it was Brandon Ingram. And like mentioned, we got the one seed, it was a three-way tie for the one seed, but we have the tiebreaker. Imagine if we didn't have the tiebreaker, I don't think D-Rose would have won MVP because we would not have won the one seed Clippers and Warriors okay Warriors slipping a little bit but not really facing the eight seeded Hawks Miles Turner a hurt McCollum Jay Crowder George Hill come on bro oh this is actually a deep oh my goodness this is a very deep team but stop it stop let us beat the Hawks bro you're joking two to two three to two four to two we win in six Five seeded Bucks in the second round. Bucks with Cat, Dennis Smith Jr. Turned to an 87 overall. Oladipo, Tyreek Evans, Rui Hachimura. A very beatable team. A very beatable. A very beatable team. Two to one. We're down, heading into Milwaukee. Can we close it out? It's going back and forth. Oh, we win by five to tie it up. Come on, bro. It's two to two right now. We have the momentum on our side back in Chicago. Oh my goodness, we almost blew the lead at the end. Oh hey, we drafted Cam Reddish. 3-2. to two. Let's close it out, man. Rough start, but we got it back and not anymore. It looks like the Bucks are going to close it out. There's a game 7 in Chicago. Decent start. We have the lead the whole game. And... Oh! <gasps> Dude, we almost blew the lead at the end. Derrick Rose, double-double. We are in the Eastern Conference Finals once again. This time facing the three-seeded Pistons. Pistons led by Porzingis, Lonzo Ball, KCP's in 86, Brogdon, Barnes, Vucevic, Knox, Waiters. Look how much 80 overalls they have. Their whole roster's 80 overall. And they got Bobo. It's looking rough for us, bro. Simulate through game. Never mind. How in the world are we beating this team? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Just close it out. Go to the finals. We're in the finals. Who are we facing? The Warriors go to the finals once again. Warriors, 99 overall Giannis. I told you from the beginning, they finessed the league with this trade. Steph Curry, 92, DJ. Honestly, they're stacked at the top, but come on, bro. We could beat this team. Let's Simcast, game one in Golden State. We could handle this team, but Giannis... Of course, it's really cheesy. What did Giannis do? He doubles, double. Okay, Giannis didn't even go that crazy. But Giannis and Curry on the same team, bro. That's just unfair. 
That's just unfair. Can we bounce back in game two? We lose by two. Who are these randoms going off? Okay. We got JJ Berea. We got a, we got like third options on the team now. Curry and Giannis. Giannis didn't even do anything. Come on, bro. Down 0-2. Can we end the video with another D-Rose ring? We win by four. We win by four. Come on, bro. Keep it going. Another close one. Oh my goodness, it's 2-2 two to two in the finals. We have the momentum, and they blow it out of proportion right there, bro. We're down 3-2, to two. Mellow D. Rose. Come on, man. Close it out. Force a game 7 at least. And the Warriors... Did they just... Did, they, did the Warriors just 3 P? D. Rose had 51, and we lost? Come on, bruh. Warriors. Giannis steals... Finals MVP from Curry, but he is a 99 overall, so we're gonna simulate one final season, bro. The 2020 NBA draft Blazers number one pick. They take Aaron D. Smith with the number one overall pick over Lamelo, James Wiseman, Anthony Edwards. Number two, the Spurs can't screw it up. They take Obi Toppin. Will the Timberwolves pick Anthony Edwards? Just like in real life, the Timberwolves pick. Oh, they trade it. I didn't see what the trade is, but the Rockets now have the pick, and they take James Wiseman. They have the fifth pick as well. And they take Devin Vassell with the fifth pick. Edwards goes sixth to the Nuggets. Pokashevsky goes seventh. Where's LaMelo? LaMelo goes 13th. Halliburton goes 14th. 2020 free agency, LeBron James. He stayed on the heat this whole simulation. Will he leave him? KD, Anthony Davis, stack free agency class. Harden, Chris Paul, CP3. I just said Chris Paul twice, Lillard. Rockets traded Drummond and Lowry for that pick. Oh yeah, I forgot Melo was a free agent because of the player option and he resigned with the Bulls. Let's go. Thunder resigned KD. Spurs resign. Rockets resign Ingram. Nuggets resign Jamal Murray like in real life. <laughs> LeBron goes to the Jazz. <laughs> what? <laughs> he stayed in the Heat his whole career. Now he goes to the Jazz. And AD takes his place on the Heat. AD signs with the Heat. I... Bet he was trying to team up with LeBron and then LeBron left him. He also signed Chris Paul. So it doesn't matter that LeBron left. They still got a decent team. Hornets resigned Lillard. NBA season, the final season I'm going to simulate because it will be current day. D Rose, Melo at age 35, loyalty. He resigned, bro. Joe Keem, loyalty. We got Larry Nance, Cam Reddish, Damari Carroll. All right, we got some new faces on the squad. In this final season of simulation, Candy Rose ended off with another ring. 2021 NBA Awards, Cat wins MVP in real life, we don't know yet. Anthony Edwards, Rookie of the Year. This guy is six man. Gobert back to winning Defensive Player of the Year. Fultz most improved. D Rose, All NBA First Team and All Defensive Second Team. We are the third seed in the East. We're the Heat. How in the world are the Heat 33 and 49 with the roster they put together? Okay, never mind. It's just Chris Paul and Anthony Davis. I thought they still had Dwayne Wade, but I guess he'd be retired at this point. Western Conference standings. How's, how's LeBron doing on the Jazz, bro? We got Mike Conley, Devin Booker, LeBron, John Collins, Mo Bamba, Randall off the bench. Bledsoe? It's a pretty solid squad. Facing the Pistons in the first round rematch at the Eastern Conference Finals, I think. Can it end off with another ring? Simulate each game. Pistons weren't a problem in the last season. Okay, I'm pretty sure the same thing happened. Here we go, facing the two-seated Bucks with MVP Cat. We are now facing the MVP of the league. And the MVP of the league is about to sweep us. No, we take up. Oh, we come back. <laughs> game seven. Game seven. I don't like game sevens. Let's end it off. Game seven. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They sweep the Warriors. Carl Anthony Towns. Is this the start of a dynasty? MVP and finals MVP and a championship. And ladies and gentlemen, that will finally bring this video to a close. I don't know how long it's been, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. But let's quickly summarize what happened and let's take a look at D-Rose's awards. So his stats real quick, bro. After his MVP season, 27, 25, 26, 25, 26, 27, 34 points per game that one season, 29, 32, 32. Playoffs, he averaged 32. He averaged 27 points per game for his career. 
So this is his career at age 32 after the 2021 NBA season. This is what would have happened if D-Rose did not get injured. He's a three-time MVP, three-time NBA champion with a three-time finals MVP, 11-time NBA All-Star, seven-time All-NBA first team, three-time All-NBA second team, and a four-time All-Defensive second team. You wouldn't expect that with D-Rose because of my style that happened. His career high was 55, but of course he put up 70 in that one playoff game, which is now a playoff record. 14 rebounds is his career high. 17 assists, he had nine steals one game, three blocks, 55 minutes one game. Derrick Rose, Bulls record for playoff points and NBA record. Same for field goals made, three pointers made. You got Melo over here. That was for the playoffs though. Rebounds, Joe Keem put up 29 one game and 28. Joe Keem literally holds every playoff record for rebounds for the Bulls. But yeah, man, D-Rose's career is not even over. He's only 32 years of age. So he could have easily won more awards and probably shattered NBA records. We simulated 10 seasons in this quick summary. In the f in this game that he got injured in that one playoff run, he won the championship in that simulation, in this simulation. The next year, he made the finals, lost to the Big Three Thunder. The next year after that, won the finals against the Warriors. And in a two season stretch of where we lost, we missed the playoffs one season, but then we came back and won the finals in game seven with that game winner. That was crazy. And in the following four seasons, we lost first round, lost the Eastern Conference Finals, lost in the finals, and we lost in the second round. We literally lost every round. But losing to the MVP Cat Bucks, that's crazy. But yeah, man, literally if Derrick Rose didn't get injured, literally would be one of the top point guards in NBA history. But we can only say what if. And if you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell if you haven't yet. Leave a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed, man. It took a lot of time to make. Leave a comment down below what I should do next. Leave a comment on how long you watched. If you, if you watched through this whole video, man, comment down below. I'm a real one. Because I don't know how long this is, man. But I appreciate those who did. I don't want to drag this on because this video is already long. But I appreciate you guys. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out.